Uh, hey, buddy, it's Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing, and I'm here in the new <laughs> tackle room um, up at the house in New Hampshire, and I finally have all of my fishing tackle kind of up here. Um, I still have re some reels and fishing line and things like that still back in storage, but as far as tackle goes, I think I got it, got it all up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick, I, I'm going to, this is actually going to be a, a tackle review of the stuff I got from Tackle Warehouse for Christmas, but I figured let me show you a quick of how I'm kind of setting up here, even though it's very early stages, so it may change. So I'm going to move this and kind of show you how I have it so far, so it'll, it might be a little bouncy, but you guys will get it. So here we go. I'm going to just kind of show you what I've done so far. So here, there's the TV. Uh, got the dish TV set down. Here's my fancy light I told you about. That's the order I'm going to go through. And this door here, which is nice, goes up to my garage. So what's perfect is the little boat. You can kind of see my reservoir boat right there, if you guys can see that. But that's the reservoir boat there. Big boats outside, shrink wrap. But what's nice is I can go from the garage to the basement easily. So I've got stuff just piled up everywhere. This is all the stuff that I had on pegboard that's in boxes. Um, there's some pork there. There's some of my boxes, different things. This is all the swim baits and stuff. Tech baits, other baits. You can see everything is kind of just, <laughs> everything is kind of just laying here right now. So everything's just kind of piled up, rods, just kind of, at least it's somewhat together and organized rods. And I've kind of got my racks set up with my Plano boxes. I've got hard baits over here. Um, you know, so far I've got jigs here and, you know, jig heads and things like that. Got some flukes there, Kitex over there, Z-Man there, Power Team stuff there. Uh, I think I got uh, craws down there and some lizards. This is all just flipping baits, creature baits right here. Different types of creature baits right up here. Um, let me see. Uh, probably more creature bait type baits. Just like all my Berkeley stuff. Um, this looks like a mix of different baits, uh, tubes, and like worms. So, I mean, I've just kind of got it at least somewhat organized in, in the area. And I'll kind of step back here and get a good long view. I got a couple of these carpets from, from Home Depot to, you know, so it's not just all concrete floor. And, and that's kind of it. And I, everything is just, at least it's a little more organized down here. You know, everything's kind of in its own area <laughs> until I get it put away. So I got to get the shelving up and all that. But I don't know. Hopefully you guys saw that well. I don't know because I couldn't see what you were seeing. But let me set this back up and I'll start the tackle review. Let me get my, make sure my camera's where I want it. That's actually not too bad. Okay. So that's kind of what it looks like. I, I hope that came out well. Um, if not, you guys, I mean, I'm sure I'll, I'll know when I look at it, but if, it, if you guys want me to show you anything else, I will. But um, I wanted to do a video on my, um, the things I got for Christmas from the family from Tackle Warehouse. And then I got gift cards. So I wanted to show you what I got with my gift cards. So from the family, I got um, a couple of rock crawlers, a couple of Spro rock crawlers, and one of my favorite colors. This is a, if you guys have never thrown a rock crawler, uh, you know, if you're fishing riprap, you know, rocky reservoirs, I mean, this is a great, great little crankbait. Great little crankbait. Make sure I get the right color on that one. I'm not sure what that color is. Chameleon crawl? It might be chameleon crawl. It's hard for me to read it, this small print. But there you go. You guys have seen a rock crawler before. I got two of those. I put that back over there. But great baits if you guys have never thrown a rock crawler before. Doing those fish are on rock. Uh, let's see, what else? I know I've shown you these before, but I did get some more of them for... Um, for Christmas. And this is that River to Sea tactical crankbait. And I got the, uh, this is the Blood Crawl. Got one of those. And actually, these I had in I had taken out of the packs and put in the box, so I figured I'd just show them to you quick. Uh, the Green Pumpkin Crawl. 
So I actually got two of these now, which is nice. I like having extras of crankbaits. And this one is the natural, natural, uh, natural gill, I think they call this one. This is a natural gill. I wrote natural crawl, but I think it's natural gill. I think I'm wrong on my colors. You can just tell it's a river to see. It's got that little S in the eyeballs there. But these are really cool. Really cool crankbaits. From River to Sing. Uh, let's see, what else did the family get me? Um, got me some of the Haze Dong. This is the Haze Dong Shad 3 inch. This is the Ghost Shad. Which you'll be seeing more of in a minute here when I do my. So I picked up some more of these. I'll, I'll actually show them to you more when I get them. Get them out. But let me show you out of the package quick. <clears throat> you guys line a nice little swim, uh, finesse swim bait. And I'll, I'll go into this more when I get to the other stuff I got. This is a three incher. So this is, if you're fish are on small bait, this is really a nice little swim bait to try. That haze dung, that mega bass haze dung. And like I said, that's the uh, ghost shed. There's that. And this is the haze dung three inch. And this is, uh, what color is this? I'm not sure how you say that, that color. Show, show Caso, <laughs> show Caso. If I'm saying that wrong, I apologize to you guys at Mega Bass, but uh, another shad looking color. There you go, that's what that one looks like up close. I can hold it upside down for you, there you go. So you got little bait, three inch. Yeah, it's a nice little, nice little finesse swim bait. So it's the, Joe Caso. Hope I'm saying that right. I probably am not. Uh, let's see what else did I get from the family. Um, I didn't have these Damiki. Um, you know, they. I just, you know, like a lot of you guys probably do. I just share my wish list with the family for Christmas, and and they go through it and get to me, get me what they want. And uh, the Damiki Vault is a blade bait which I never have tried before. You can see it's still in the pack. I'm not going to take these out. You guys know what the know what a blade. Unless it's easy. Let's see. Yeah, I can get it out pretty easy. That was going to be a pain in the neck, but I'll take it out. And let's see, what color is this one? Hollow Ayo. So if you're looking for a more finessey, maybe, uh, blade bait, you know, most of the time I'm throwing a Binsky or a Silver Buddy. I don't ha I have never tried one of these before. The Vault. And I know I've, I've heard, like, uh, the Tactical Bassin guys talk about this one a lot, so. It's a little smaller profile. That's the Hollow Ayo. I'm not sure how much this one is. Is this a half ounce? Yeah, half ounce. So that's a half ounce blade bait. Ghost IU. Pretty cool. And I haven't tried these ones yet. Nice little tacky hooks. Very tacky. There you go. That's the Ghost IU. Let's see if I can get it back in here. Because uh, even though I have all my baits here, <laughs> organizing stuff I'm not at that point yet because <laughs> what I the old stuff isn't even organized yet so I've got to just you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get some like portable um, um, pegboard and start hanging the stuff up again that's all the stuff that was in box it used to be hung up in the old basement so it'll keep me busy all winter all right here's another I assume it's half ounce yeah another half ounce uh, hollow cyber purple to Mickey vault so let's check that one out. First time I've taken these out of the pack. I'm sure my blade bait box is over there on that wall somewhere. I don't know exactly where, though. Matter of fact, I don't remember seeing it. Where could it be? It's got to be around somewhere. But here we go. The hook's a little... That bow ring's a little messed up. That's kind of cool. What is that again? Hollow Cyber Purple. That's different. But there you go. Cool-looking little... Uh, Ooh, blade bait, half ounce. Damiki. Right, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. So if you're thinking of those Damiki blade baits, they look kind of neat. The hooks are definitely sharp. They're small hooks though, but they're definitely sharp. All right. And I think the last thing was one of these. Um, if you guys ever, if you guys have watched Joe Thomas's fishing show. Um, uh, real in, I think was it real in the outdoors I think it is he's uh, been you know 
on a lot of his episodes was fishing with a you know rooster tail for smallies you know on the Great Lakes and places and um, has his own signature brand. I thought they looked kind of cool. I mean, I haven't thrown rooster tails in years uh, for bass, but um, he has like his own you know signature brand, which is a little more a little beefier, uh, maybe more for maybe for, more for bass fishing than you know you know trout fishing or whatever you're using these for. But that's a half ounce, and that is yellow coach dog. So I, I put these on my list. I know a lot of them were out of stock until this month, until January at some time. So my family got me one of these to try. So yeah, we'll give them a try up here in New Hampshire. See how the, uh, see if the smallies eat, um, eat rooster tails. So, and that was it. So, so thanks family. Appreciate the uh, Christmas gifts. And then they also gave me gift cards. Um, so I, you know, of course, like Christmas night, <laughs> you're going on there after you get those gift cards, you're going on and, um, and an ordering up so here's my order <laughs> it's not in, I took it out of the box so I guess this isn't text technically an unboxing but here's my list here and as usual the print is so small I'm gonna try to go through this the best I can um, but let's see what I got let me go through this the way it is on the list and I'm gonna bring a pen here and try and keep this as organized as possible okay so this is my Christmas order from the card the Christmas cards I got for Christmas um, gift cards that I got for Christmas from Tackle Warehouse. So the first thing on the list is becoming one of my eh, new favorite uh, crankbaits, uh, Finesse crankbaits, and it's the Mega Bass uh, Flat Slap. I mean, I did so well on this in the fall last year and in this, I mean, really all year, uh, whenever I kind of felt it was the right situation for it. This really is a nice bait. Um, and I, I didn't have this color. This is... Um, let me just make sure I get the right color here. Wild Crawl. And that really looks cool. I haven't taken this out of the box yet, so let's see. This stuff's just been kind of sitting in the box here, waiting to be shown off to you guys. But that's a pretty awesome paint job right there. So, you know, with Mega Bash, you're going to get a quality, you know, quality bait. Great paint job. Um, you know, I don't really like these hooks that they, these hooks on uh, the jerk baits. Sometimes I'll change them out. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. Um, but on the flat slap, it's okay. I haven't found it to be, I haven't like lost any fish or felt they're bending out on me um, using this. But this is a really a great crankbait for, to me, when that water's a little colder because it's got a nice tight action and uh, this color is awesome. So I, I went from having like none of these to, <laughs> to a bunch. I don't know where, somewhere over there the Mega Bass box is, so I don't know exactly where it is, but this bait is really cool. So that's that, um, what did I say that was? Wild Craw. Wild Craw, I think OB. I think it says OB. But that's it. That's really a nice looking bait. So if you guys are thinking of getting that one, it looks really, really nice. And I, I have mostly like, you know, perch colors and shad type colors. So I didn't have any crawfish ones patterned. So I went for that one. So that's it. That's number one on the list. Um, let's see. Um, all right. I just talked about them before because the family bought me some. But I got some more of the colors I didn't have of... The haze, the haze dong shad three inch, and I got the. This is the green pumpkin chartreuse. Let me make some room here. I got the goby color, and uh, I think I got one more. Right? Yeah. The disco stain. So for you guys who have haven't used these, I, I have actually used the spark shad more. So I'm kind of new to this one too. But um, I know that last year, especially, uh, you know, fishing in Jersey still on the reservoirs a lot, the, the bass were really focusing and eating a lot of small bait um, in the fall. A lot of, a lot of, there was a lot of bait schools and the bait was probably this size, maybe smaller. So let me, I'm going to, um, I'm going to just show you these and then leave them out and then I'll show you how, how I think I might rig these up. But that's the, because um, I did get some hooks to go along with them. Uh, that's the disco stain. So if you're thinking of the disco stain in the haystone, that's a pretty nice looking bait. That should be a smallmouth uh, killer right there. So I mean, I'm like thrilled to be trying all these baits out uh, in New Hampshire when the sp when the spring comes. When I'm you know by then hopefully totally up here 100% full time and uh, you know fishing. So I'm gonna put these haze. I'm gonna show me the colors quick and then I'm gonna go to the uh, hooks I got next and I'll show you how I might rig them up because I haven't I haven't rigged them up yet. I haven't used I haven't used these yet. Um, and this is the goby color. 
you know, I only threw the, uh, you know, I was throwing more of the Kitex and the Spark Shads in the, in the, uh, in the fall. And I wanted to get, get in, you know, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, Randy Blockett has some nice ones on the Haze Dong. And actually, I was, saw one of his videos and got some of the, the hooks I got to go along with it. But there you go. That's that Gobi color. It's really nice. So I'm going to leave a couple of these out of the pack so I can show you how I rig one up. And uh, the last one was a green pumpkin chartreuse. Should be another great smolly color. Uh, there we go. I mean, that's, they all look, I mean, I always say smolly, but, but I guess kind of now I'm probably going to be more in smolly country than, than I was. So, so we'll see. Not that I won't find largemouth around here, but from just reading up on the lakes and from what I'm reading, it's more smallmouth than, than largemouth. But I'm going to explore and find out. So there's the haze dung. Those are the three I got. Now, let me just check those off so I know that I showed them to you. Now, what I got to go along with them was this here. I'll save those for later. Um, and actually, I think I did see, I've heard people talk about it, but I think I just saw a Randy Blockett video not that long ago where he was throwing this, um, this Okashira uh, head with the, uh, the haze dung, three inches. So, I think, what, what the heck, why don't I give it a try? So I got three packs. Um, I think they're all 1 8 ounce. Let me just double check here on the list. Yeah, they're all 1 8 ounce, 1 8 ounce 3 aught. So these are all 1 8 ounce 3 aught. And that's just a real minnow color. That's the real minnow color on the o uh, Okashira head. Uh, this one is, I believe, Melon Ayu. It's a little smudged on the back there, but this is melon IU color. You can see it's got a little, it's like it's got a little green there. And these are all three odd hooks, one eighth ounce. <clears throat> uh, I cannot read that at all. I'm assuming this is just the spawn kill. <laughs> I think this is spawn kill. It, it's totally smudged on the back there. And let's see. That means this one should just be shad. Yeah. And this is another one, shad. So that's shad. That spawn kill. So I've got those to go with the haze dunk. So I'm gonna let's see how hard these are to open up. I don't want to tear them open too much. If I have a pair of scissors handy, oh, I think I got it. Well, maybe I don't. I'm gonna get a pair of scissors. If I can find a pair here, when you move, you can't find anything. Oh, actually, it tears off pretty easy. It actually rips off pretty easy. Let's see. I have never used these before. I've never taken them out of the pack. Let's see how they even have it packaged here. I'm going to take the whole thing apart. All right. So this is the Okashira head, 1 8 ounce, 3 out hook. And what did I say this color was? Shad. All right. Keep it simple. Shad color. Let's see how many. Okay. I thought they, may, they might be uh, stapled in there, but they're not. That's, a, you know, for a small hook, it's pretty stout. I will say, it's not flimsy or cheap. And it's got that little keeper there, which is nice. I've never used these. Nice keeper, and they wrap the keeper with that, whatever that, that material is, but can't get it much more simple than that. And that is, I believe I said the shad color, right? Yeah. So let's see. Let me see if I can do one of these and not mess it up. So this is that Gobi color. Now with these, it's almost like a head on a head. So I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see how it looks. Because then you've got the head here, and then you've got the head of the bait. So, no, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they eat four-eyed fish, but I don't know if it matters that much. I want to see how this looks on here. This might be... Maybe this is better with the spark shad, because the spark shad doesn't have a... If any of you guys have used these, let me know if you think it matters if it's... If it matters if it's a head and a head. Probably doesn't. Because... Tell you, that looks pretty cool. I mean, it might it looks kind of funny, I guess, with two, uh, <laughs> four eyes, but I don't really want to snip that. I mean, I guess you could. You could snip those eyes off. It's a little, eh, it's actually pretty straight for the first time doing it. It's actually pretty straight into the back. It's a little to the side. I would probably redo that one, but uh, I don't want to tear the bait to heck either here showing you, but you guys get the idea. I mean, that's, it goes on pretty easily. I mean, I guess you could, 
snip a little bit of that off and get rid of the other eyes and go butt right up, but I don't want to go too far back and lose the action either. So that's where that Okashira head. Maybe this is better with the uh, with the mag with the uh, spark shot, but I don't know. It's, that, that looks kind of cool. I don't know if a bass's brain is going to go. I can't eat that. That's got four eyes. But it does it does fit on there pretty well. That's a and I'm I'm surprised. I was I'm I'm impressed with that hook. I thought it was going to be more flimsy. It's pretty. That's a stout hook. Now I would say that probably. I may use these more on a different head that doesn't have, you know, a fish head on it. But listen, for you guys who have done this, let me know if you got a better setup. You got a better setup. Maybe I maybe I'm misremembering uh, Randy's video and he was using uh, the uh, Matt, the uh, spark shad, but they're pretty cool. That's a really cool little bait. I mean, you can put that on a net head and throw it around, and I'm sure you'd catch fish. So that's kind of the system that I got, you know, the swim baits with that, the Mega Bass setups there. So there you go. All right. What's next on the list? All right. Another thing, something new I wanted to try. And I've been wanting to try it, wanting to try it, wanting to try it. And then when I got the gift cards, I said, all right, now's the time to get some of these. I have not done a lot of, and I've never used their specific brand, is the Damiki uh, Jig Head. So I did get four different colors of the Damiki heads. Um, and I believe these are all, I'm gonna look on here because looking at those packs is like, so I got the Damiki rig heads. So they're a quarter ounce and I think they're all one knots. Mm, yeah, so they're quarter ounce one knot hooks. So let me show you this one. This one I believe is the chartreuse, uh, yeah, chartreuse one. So hard to read the back of these packs. But there is your Demiki head. It's got that little sled head type deal there. And it's only a one-out hook, but it's, it's sturdy. It's a nice hook. And that's your chartreuse head there. And I did get two packs of the Demiki Armor Shed. Now, whenever I've done this, you know, <clears throat> this technique for like schooling bass, suspended bass, which I hate to do, who doesn't? Um, but sometimes, you know, you go out there and the fish are chasing bait out in 30, 40 feet, you gotta just kinda try it and dip it down there into the school and see if you can get a bite. Um, I usually do, have done this with just a regular jig head and a fluke. Um, I never had the actual Demiki head and the, the, the armor shad, which is kind of like a setup to work together. So I got two of these. This is a really cool color. I think it says SD Chartreuse, but whatever. Let's see what it says on here. Do, 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 do. Armor Shed. Just says SB Chartreuse. Which looks really cool in the pack. I haven't taken these out yet. Okay. It's like a mini fluke. The Armor Shed is like a mini fluke. So if you take that and rig that on there. Now, this is the first time I've done these or had these. So if I mess up my rigging the first time around, I apologize. But with stuff like this, it's always good to keep it straight so you don't twist your line up too bad. I try to make sure I go right through the middle of the back of the bait. I probably didn't go far enough there. Mm, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> that was totally off. See, live TV, you never know what you're going to get. Let me go back a little further. I didn't go farther enough. All right, that should be better. That's much better. Well, not much better, but better. I think I would redo that one. It's not the best in the world. But you get the idea. Take that, that head, if you see bait or suspended, or you know, even in the, the, the spring when you first get out there, fish are kind of laying on the bottom still maybe, and they're not chasing yet. It's a great finesse technique. You know, I mean, I think this is more of a schooling bass, um, suspended bass technique, you know, you know, just kind of you know, seeing the bass on your, your, your electronics and just kind of, or the school, and dropping it down into it, but it's pretty cool. I have not used these yet. It's the first I've ever, you know, used a Mickey rig. But it's pretty neat. But that was not the best, uh, <laughs> that wasn't the best rigging I've ever done right there. But that's it, SB, uh, SB Chartreuse, which is really cool. That's a nice color. Um, and the other one I'll show you up close. This one is uh, 
It's just baby bass. <coughs> There's your baby bass color, which is pretty nice too. Get your armor shad in baby bass color. They're really nice. So these are kind of cool. This might be something that really plays well up here and you know, fishing more, more clear water, more small mouth water than, I've, than I'm used to in Jersey. I'm oh, gonna stick these back in there. And I did get um, three different colors, like I showed you, and this is kind of what they look like in the pack. I mean, I kind of opened that one up ahead of time. That's the chartreuse one. Um, I got two of the white. I don't know what they call white, or they call it pearl, let's see. Uh, white pearl, or pearl white, whatever you want to call it. Got two of those. I must have hit, I, I thought I had four different colors, but it says two, I must have hit two by mistake, but whatever. It's a good color. Um, I have to get a t-shirt too, because I got, because <laughs> I ordered enough, but I wore that the other day, so you're not going to see that. And what's this one? This is IU. That's what the IU one looks like of the Demiki. Remember, these are one, these are just one-odd hooks. They're small hooks, but they're very stout. And I believe it's a quarter ounce. I said, yeah, they're all quarter ounce baked. I don't like them too light, uh, you know, especially if you're fishing deeper water. You want to get the bait down there before you fall asleep. So, um, let's see. Uh, Okashira Shad, I showed you. Armor Shad, I showed you. Tamiki Rig, I showed you. Um, sticker. <laughs> you guys probably have 5,000 of these sitting around the house, like we all do. My reservoir boat up there has got them all over it. Covers scratch as well. All right. Something else I got. Now, these I have, um, but I don't have a lot of. There was a tackle shop um, by school in New Jersey I worked at, and I went to there once, and they had these on the shelf, so I bought a few. And I haven't seen them anywhere else. And, um, you know, speaking of tactical bassing before, I know that uh, they talk about them a lot of these uh, Bass Patrol, you know, like finesse football jigs, if you want to call them finesse, but... Um, I've had a, a bunch of them, not a bunch of them, but a few of them, and I hadn't gotten any in a while, and I was watching one of the videos, and I don't know if it was Tim or Matt was talking about it, and I said, oh, let me grab a few more on my on my Christmas list, so I grabbed a few. I think this one is the PB&J, and some of them are, you know, some of them are regular silicone like this, so if you want a nice finesse um, you know, football head, when it's a little colder out, that water's still cold, spring, fall, uh, wintertime fishing, with a good hook, I mean, that's a nice, I think it's got, oh, it's got a little keeper on it. I didn't realize that. It's got one of those little plastic keepers they come with, keep the hook from dulling out, so make sure you shave that off before you go fishing. You might not get anything. You might not hook a fish very well, but uh, it's a good thing I won't be poking myself with it when I do the video. But there you go, that's a peanut butter and jelly. And that's a regular silicone one. And I did, let's see, I did open one other one. This one, I believe, yeah, see this one, this is really kind of a neat one. This is that brown orange one. I'm not sure what they call it. They just call it a craw or one. I think it's, this is, um, that's peanut butter and jelly. That one I showed you already. This one I believe is like a, a brown orange scale, they call it. So this is a brown rubber. You can, you can see that's a living rubber skirt with a little bit of silicone in there, which is a kind of a combo I like. Um, so, you know, that rubber skirt is good in the winter time. When that water's really cold, it flares out nice. Um, maybe more than the silicone does. I mean, I've always thrown silicone probably 90% of the time. But I do have some, you know, living rubber, too. So that's what they, the packs look like. And I got a few more. Um, I think that's another living rubber one. It's like a, looks like a, a brown and purple. Yeah, brown and purple. That looks like living rubber in there. Uh, that looks like silicone. And I think that's just a green pumpkin. Yeah, green pumpkin crawl. Bass Patrol jigs. And I think these are all half ounces. Let me just double check for you. Yeah, they're all half. I got all half ounce. I like a, I like a half ounce football jig better than a three quarter sometimes, but to me, it's uh, I get hung up more. Oh, um, what's this one? I think this one is just a silicone. Yeah, that's just a silicone brown red crawl. And the last one I got, that looks like rubber, living rubber, uh, brown. Just a brown living rubber. So you can use any kind of trailer you like on these. Um, I like to use, like when I throw little football jigs like this, sometimes I'll use a small, pe smaller piece of pork because you guys see I still got, I still like throwing pork. I know that's not the in thing anymore, but I still like throwing it. Um, or, you know, any kind of plastic trailer you like. You just want to do a double, you know, a, a double tail grub. Ah, drink break. Um, you know, I like the... Uh, the Craw Hors d'oeuvre from Power Team is a really good trailer for that kind of stuff, but any trailer you guys want to use, use it. Um, 
chuck it out there, drag it along the bottom. Uh, let's see. That's the jigs I got, Bass Patrol. Um, you guys know I like these original slider heads. So I, flew, I threw a pack of those in just to get to that, that 150-pound mark with, the, with my, because uh, I had uh, like $130 or something. So you get to 150, oops, you get to 150, get another shirt too. So threw one of the sliders in. And last but not least, um, a couple jerk baits that I didn't have. The brand I have, but not the style. Um, and a couple that I had, just different colors. Um, I like throwing these Duo Realis, smaller, smaller jerk baits, and I never tried the Rosanti 63 suspending jerk bait. So I figured, what the heck? I'll try the smaller one. I, 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 you know, I'm more of a, you know, a 110, you know, size jerk bait thrower most of the time. But I did very well uh, last year with smaller jerk baits. So I figured, let me try some of the Rosantis. So I said, let me try this 63. Now this is a tiny one. So this is a really a finesse, finesse jerk bait, and this is a, I think I just got the gill color, the, the perch, right, the perch ND. So that's Dual Realis, Rosanti 63 suspending SP, and that's the perch color. So I mean this is a, you know this is spinning tackle, six to eight pound line, you know finesse jerk, and when you know when the fish are still a little sluggish. And maybe that they're not ready for that big jerk bait yet to like just slaughter it. They want to, you know, they're a little more, a little more tentative. So there you go. There's your Rosante 63, and I got another 63, another perch type color. This is just gold, gold perch. And that's what it looks like in the pack. And yeah, this this is really a small jerk bait for me to throw. Really nice. Uh, Duo has nice paint jobs. So there you go, gold perch. So if your fish are a little finicky, there you go. Give it a shot. Duo makes nice, uh, nice jerk baits. Nice jerk baits from Duo in many different styles. Um, then I got two of the '77 Rosanti, which is a little bigger size. I don't know exactly the difference. So this one is '77 millimeters. The the, the uh, '63 is '63 millimeters. So a little smaller. So these are, this is a little, this Rosanti is a little bigger. And this one is Wakasagi. I hope I'm saying that right. That's the Wakasagi color. Because I have a couple of the perch colors, but I didn't have, you know, these two. So I figured if they're in stock, why not? So really nice finesse jerk bait, clear water, which, you know, I've, I've said it a few times. I'll be dealing with a lot more clear water than I'm used to up here, I believe, uh, for the most part. But... Nice, nice hooks. So if you want a nice little finesse jerk bait, give it a try. That's the the Rosanti 73 SP. Oh, glare there from Dual Realis. And the other one I got was uh, Mira Ayu in the 73. You hear my dog Gabby barking at the top of the steps because she wants to come down here. <laughs> but then if she came down here, she'd be barking at me if I didn't pick her up. So. She wants to be in the video. Maybe someday. And what color did I say that was? Mira Ayu. So there's their Mira Ayu color. Really nice. And I've obviously, you know, this came for came in Christmas, so I haven't thrown these yet. Everything's frozen pretty good now. It's like 18 degrees now outside. It's freezing out. So there you go. So that's it, guys. That's the tackle warehouse order uh, for Christmas. Um, so thanks to the family for the gift cards. Um, that's the first order I've made from Tackle Warehouse in a while. I mean, for a while there, um, you know, with COVID and everything, they're shipping, they had trouble filling orders in a timely fashion, getting things in. And I'll tell you, this order came really quick. So uh, hopefully things are getting more back to normal for them down there. And, uh, you know, the delays are over because this came quick. So no complaints at all. And, uh, and it's a nice order. So thanks to the family for the gift cards, and that'll be some good springtime uh, stuff to uh, grab. Um, before I close the video, I know it's a 34-minute video already, but I do have a couple little things that came in. I'm just going to go through them really quick, and I'll just add this to the end of the video. I, I, I took a ride over to the, now that I'm up in New Hampshire, there's a Bass Pro pretty close. So I took a ride over to the Bass Pro in New Hampshire, which is in Hookset. And just to, you know, I hadn't been there in a while, so due to get out of the house, and... Um, grabbed a few finesse worms because you guys know that I love 
throw in this slider head, which I showed you before, if I can get it out of the pack, on these finesse type ones. So I grabbed a couple of uh, the uh, the uh, tournament series ones from Bass Pro when I was there. I didn't spend a lot of money. My wife actually spent more than me. I bought her a shirt, and that was more than my <laughs> eggs and worms, which is, doesn't usually happen. Um, this is what the a color that they call candy bug, which I thought looked kind of neat. So that's the Bass Pro Finesse Worm Tournament Series. And you guys, I've shown this to you guys before, but if you guys have never seen a video of me doing it, this little finesse slider worm with these um, uh, finesse worms is really a great system for bass and wind. You know, things might be a little slow. Or if you just like, a, you know, throw them in a spot, you would throw a shaky worm. That right there, my friends, is the deal. So if you haven't tried it, next year when you get out in the water, give it a shot. See how you like it. And surprisingly, even with that open hook, I don't get hung up a ton. You, you lose a few. You lose a few. But, um, you know, it comes out of the rocks pretty well. But that uh, that's a really nice color, that, uh, that, what is that candy bug. It's really nice. So I think I'd rig one up for you just to show you. I'm not going to rig all of them up. Uh, green Pumpkin Magic Pearl. That was kind of a nice color I had there. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice one. Green Pumpkin... What did I say? Green Pumpkin Magic Pearl. And I apologize for the dog barking in the back if you can hear that. <laughs> she is very persistent. It's only because she wants to come down here. That is the only reason she's doing it. Okay. Uh, I grabbed, and then, of course, I got to grab a couple of zooms. Um, so, um, I got the, the watermelon red with the chartreuse tail. Um, I may have these already, but I figure what the heck. Zoom is such a good deal there at Bass Pro. And I don't have the, the color, the chartreuse tail ones are always cool. So, you can never have enough of these, you know, for backup. Uh, and you guys have seen my videos. I, I've bought so many, you know, of different colors of these. I think I probably have every one, even though Zoom has a ton of colors. I, I shouldn't say that. I'm sure there's some I don't have. Um, or there's some I have that they don't make anymore. But I've used, I've turned the trick worm more the last year, year and a half than I have the last 10 years. So, you know, nice color there. And this is another nice the green pumpkin, purple green. This was another nice one. I saw I saw that it was there in the, on the shelves I grabbed. Um... Oh, there's actually one more order that I forgot about, so this video might go a little longer than I anticipated. But it's stuff you guys will like to see. Uh, green pumpkin, purple green. That's a nice one. I don't think I have that, but I like that. It's almost like that watermelon candy color, but with green pumpkin. That'll be that'll be a nice clear water bait. That's a nice one. I don't think I have this one. But, you know, on that slider one, it's really a good deal. All right, so that's it. Um, another small order I got. I, I saw this book online, and you, you guys know that I, ha I, I, I have a ton of books, you know, on fishing, and I didn't have this book um, by Bill Murphy, um, Pursuit of Giant Bass, so I saw it advertised, um, and I said, oh, you know, that's a, I didn't read that one, and I was looking on Amazon, they wanted like 60 bucks for it, and 50 bucks, and 30, 40 bucks, I was like, what the, I ain't buying that. And I go on the Lunker City website, and it's $14, or $14.99. So I was like, I'll grab it. So Lunker City uh, website, $14.99, if you want to read this book, uh, In Pursuit of Giant Bass. I haven't gotten into it yet. I'm still finishing another uh, book, uh, fishing book I'm reading right now. So once this, that one's done, I'll pick this one up. And so I figured, okay, the book is $14.99. If I just get a few baits, um, get it up to 50 bucks, I get free shipping. So I grabbed a few... Finesse baits from uh, uh, from Lunker City. I got some of the Helgies, which is I'm gonna throw this on a Ned Ned rig. <clears throat> I haven't thrown these in a few years, but I think on a Ned rig it'll be really kill killer. You know, if you guys have never seen a Helgie before, I know, and you know, there's a lot of lakes where you know this is a, a, a you know the Helgrimets are you know a forage that in the spring especially the, the the bass are eating. So there's the black one. That's the black Helgie. Lunker City. So I got a pack of that. Eh, I'll put that over here. Um, I got a pack of the Brown Bug LG. That's what it looks like in the pack. Brown Bug. Wait, that's, really, that's a nice looking color. I like that one. 
That's a nice two-tone there. That like orangey type belly. It looks like I'm missing a leg, but it's okay. But nice finesse bait. And, I, and you know, now that Ned rig fishing has become so popular and I do it a lot and I'm a flipper, but um, you know, baits like this that I haven't thrown a lot. Now I'm, my brain is saying, hey, throw that on a net head, throw that on a net head, bring it back. Um, Cause I, I mean, the Helgies I have are old. I got them years ago. Um, this is the, they just call it big fish. All right, whatever. Looks to me like green pumpkin and chartreuse, but <laughs> maybe maybe I'll catch a big fish. If I catch a big fish on that, I will film it while I'm catching it and say, look at that, there's on a big fish, Helgie from Lunker City. So I, I, like when I'm looking at these now, I'm thinking Ned, Ned Rig, Ned Rig, Ned Rig. Uh, just throw it on a shaky head. I can throw it on that slider. Ooh, drop shot it. And which these are the this is the I know that I did a video with the three inch. This is the five inch. <clears throat> and okay, I did get more hell juice. All right, uh, watermelon red flake. Can't go wrong with that in the hell juice. That's really nice. That's a nice nice watermelon red flake bait right there. So these are all really good colors. But I got a bunch of those three inch ones when they had their last sale. I figured why not get a few of the just the regular five inches. Um, black, here's a black uh, black pumpkin. And I believe that's the last of the hell juice. Oh, yeah, it's a black pumpkin. That's pretty cool. It's a nice looking color right there. So, like I'm thinking, I'm thinking Ned Rig with these guys. If you guys, uh, you know, throw these, let me know how you rig them up. But I'm thinking doing it, throwing a Ned with them. Um, another bait when I was thinking of, you know, Ned fishing or even, you know, even drop shotting was their, their Ripster bait. And I got three of those. This is the black one. And I know I got some small ones, I think, in an order I did a video on. This is a bigger size. This is a four and a half inch. So you could throw that on a Ned. You could throw that on that slider head I showed you. That would work nice. Drop shot it. You know, if you want to shaky head it. You got a jig head you like. Nice little finesse bait. So that's the Ripster from Lunker City. That's a four and a half inch five, uh, four and a half inch bait, color black. Um, I also got the Alwife color. And there's what the Ripster looks like. It looks like a, looks like a, hmm, like a silver belly. Like a bluish, like a shad type color. That's a, that's a nice looking bait right there. So I mean, I'm sure all these, you know, when the finesse bite is on, all you can use any of these. Yeah. <laughs> Catch them on what you want. But if you're thinking of trying these Slunker City baits, here's what they look like. And last but not least, I just got Pro Purple. Pro Purple. Four and a half inch Ripster. Ooh, get it open. That's a nice looking bait. I love purple. I love purple baits. So there you go. Nice finesse worm. Rig it up however you want. Try it on that slider head. Try it on your Ned heads. Whatever Ned head you're using. And give it a shot. I bet you you catch some. So that's what. So that's what I got for Lunker City in the book. And then I'll show you this order quick, um, which you guys will probably like the best. But. <laughs> um, I got these from Land Big Fish. They were having a sale, so whenever Land Big Fish has a sale, I, I gotta you know grab what I can. Um, um, and I only got four things, but four nice things. I decided to get myself another Mega Bass Vision 110, and I believe this is Pro Blue 2. Yes, this is the Pro Blue 2 color Vision 110 from Mega Bass, and. This is really nice. Ow. I think the hooks are mad at me for making fun of them all the time, so they stick me in the finger. But um, it's pretty nice right there. A little orange or yellow on the belly. Pro blue. Pro blue is a very popular color. Um, and I can see why. That's the pro blue too. So that little belly clink there, blue on top. That's a nice looking jerk bait right there. And you can never have enough jerk baits. Just look at my uh, shelf over there. So that is the 
I got one jerk bait because I got a lot of jerk baits, as you guys know. What I don't have is a lot of the Mega Bass S crank. I only had one or two. A little bit of glare there. When I go there, I see a glare. When I go there, I don't. I don't know how you guys are going to see it, but I figured. Um, <laughs> might even been Randy blocking again. Randy, you're costing me some money, man. <laughs> um, I think he was talking about the S-Crank, and I, now I've seen other guys you know, talk about it, and I love throwing square bills, so um, I hadn't really tried any Mega Bass square bills, so I just started getting the S-Crank, uh, and this is the S-Crank 1.5, and this is a secret gill color. And uh, I actually did pop a couple of these out of the box the other day because they were really cool looking. I had to show them off to my buddy Sean, so I had to take them out of the box, but that is really a nice looking bait. So I have never thrown this because uh, I only got two, I think, for in the winter time once. You know, I've got them all this winter, so I, you know, we haven't had open water. Um, so I'm looking forward to throwing these um, when the time comes. And I don't know what size these hooks are, but obviously this front hook. I'm assuming that's like a maybe that's a four and that's a six. I don't know. But they're nice hooks, though. These are sharp. I don't have to change those out. But they get a bigger hook in the front and. They're not gonna probably, I mean, I guess they could hit each other. Yeah, they could tangle up sometimes, but the square bill probably won't happen. That's a nice looking bait. What did I say that color was again? Secret gill. So if you're thinking of the, the S crank and the secret gill, nice looking paint, nice looking paint job. I mean, do you ever see a six or a mega bass uh, bait that doesn't uh, have a nice paint job? All right, I got another S crank. There it is, and that is, uh, I have no idea how to see that, say that. Biwahu see-through chartreuse. Biwako? I'm sure I'm hacking that up. We'll just call it see-through chartreuse. <laughs> I'm not sure what that first part is. Biwako? But, it looks cool. Clear water, man. Ooh. These rattle. These must be silent. Yeah, these are. This is a silent bait. No rattles in there. Just your weight for your casting. But these look really neat. I, I'll be interested to see the action of these in the water because this is this will be a new square bill for me. I'm just getting into the the S crank craze. And then watch in a year I'll have a video and I'll have a box of them. And the last one I got was a little bigger size because those are 1.5s. If I didn't tell you guys that. These are both the 1.5. Um, I did get one they had in stock that was a 2.0. So it's a little, you can see how much bigger that is in the package. And that is, uh, looks like E2 Craw, I think that is. Yeah, I think it's E2 Craw. So if I'm messing that, that color up, I apologize. I don't know where my um, land big fish uh, order form is. I can get the name correct, but that's a that's a nice big bulky square bill. But that's a really cool color. I think it's E2 cross. I'm sorry if I'm messing that up, but that's pretty nice. That's a nice sturdy bill. <laughs> don't drop your mega basses. <laughs> but that's pretty nice. Look at that belly. That's sweet. I think this might catch some fish. And this one has, the 2.0 definitely has, these hooks are both the same size. So there you go. That's what it looks like, folks. Really nice. Really nice. So that was that, 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 that was what I got from, uh, from Lamb Big Fish. And you know, whenever you order from Lamb Big Fish, you get one of these. So I can cover up some more scratches on the reservoir boat. Believe it or not, everybody, that's it. Um, that's all the Christmas orders are in. Um, so you've seen what's going on down here. Um, so you know what I'm going to be doing all winter. Um, I might get, get, need some more racks. Um, I'm definitely going to get some pegboard. Um, uh, you know, I, I saw on Home Depot on their website you can get you know nice size pegboard on wheels so that I can move it around. I can start hanging some of this stuff up, you know, the stuff that used to be hung up in the other house, the, the swim baits and the other, other baits. Um, but that's it. Um, 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. It turned out to be a 50 minute video. I thought it was gonna be about 20 minutes, but I forgot I had all this other stuff and figured let's we'll throw it all in together in one big video since it's been, uh, you know, been busy and haven't made one in a few days. So that's it. So that's everything new right now. And I don't have any orders. I'm not ordering anything because I've been buying furniture and stuff for the house. So I think I'm probably good with new purchases for uh, for now. But they're having a nice sale on the Sixth Sense site. So who knows? But uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I think that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. This will probably be the view. But who knows how much it'll change um, of where I'll be doing videos from now on when I'm inside. Um, now that I'm, you know, slowly but surely getting everything up here to New Hampshire and, um, you know, once I'm done with school and, and I'm up here full time, this is where I'll make my videos from. So, uh, of course, this table that this is on, I don't know if that's shaking, but uh, this table is not as sturdy as that other table I used to use. So I'm going to get rid of this flimsier one and get a better one because whenever I touch it, I think the, the camera starts to shake and I don't want to make a lousy video for you guys. So, uh, so that's it. So that's it. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of different baits to take in there, I know. Um, I'll put links to to everything down on the bottom there. Uh, Lunker City, and I don't know if you really need a link to tackle warehouse, but, uh, you know, Land Big Fish, you know, uh, Lunker City, Land Big Fish, that's pretty much it. Uh, and Bass Pro, you can just go to the nearest one, but to you and get that, those worms if you want to. Uh, and I think their, uh, their, their sales are coming up too, you know, in store and online, so everybody will have sales in the wintertime. Since we don't really have outdoor shows probably this year, the internet sales will be that much more. All right. So I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Um, hope your new year is going, going okay. If you guys are here in the Northeast, uh, unless you're ice fishing, I guess it's going to be a little bit of a wait now because things are starting to freeze up really good because, you know, this cold weather is finally here. But it is the middle, almost the end of January. So we're, we're getting there. Spring gets closer every day. So next time I have something to show you guys, maybe as I... I'll kind of keep giving you updates, video updates of what I'm doing down here and, and how I'm organizing things. Um, so you can see it kind of come together till it's, till it's normal, even though we have so much stuff still in boxes that's not even fishing stuff, you know, from the house. So it'll be a, it'll be a process here. It'll be a process. So I'll keep you guys posted on how I, how I improve it, everything down here or change it uh, as we go along. All right, so that's it for now. I will see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.